So I've had nearly 12,000 views at this time of making this video on my burger, my, gra my McDonald's Grand Big Mac bacon with bacon effort. Um, a lot of people, not a lot of people, but a few people have commented and says, well, it's McDonald's, what do you expect? And I expect more from McDonald's. They're the biggest burger chain in the world. I expect more. Um, you know, you, you, sometimes you can go in and if you take your family in to buy a McDonald's, you know, you're paying nearly 20 notes and it's a lot of money. So what I have been, people have been saying, use other places. And, and I've, I've said it myself that I want to use local uh, burger places. So I live in Loughborough, uh, near Loughborough in Leicestershire. So obviously somebody who is watching this video in Lytham St. Anne's, uh, I don't know, Norwich, Cornwall, wherever, you obviously are not going to go to Loughborough to buy a burger you might be passing through one day how the hell do i know oh can i go say hello to the lads in leicester uh at asda last night who saw me up there in foss park it was great the child was well embarrassed it was absolutely brilliant but thank you for that lads anyway um so you, you might be passing through love for i don't know but what i want to do is uh is try to encourage people to not not use mcdonald's don't get me wrong i don't want to say don't ever use mcdonald's because i do like some of the mcdonald's stuff i love the breakfast and i love the chicken wraps i think they're really good i just think the bacon's uh the burgers are tasteless they've taken the salt out and i've always said it's not really mcdonald's fault as such because we've got all these do good in government people who are telling us what we should and shouldn't eat and drink they're taking stuff uh, flavors out of food and that and really we should all be monitoring ourselves you know it should be some kind of uh taking responsibility of ourselves so body bar with that i'm not going to get all political what i want to say is um if you try these local businesses around you you might discover something that tastes really good now i've just gone to the b&q in loughborough i've seen that bloke there he's been there ages in his little burger van, and I thought, right, I'll start there, this parking, I haven't got to worry. So, I've been and bought a double cheeseburger. It cost me the grand total of four pounds, four British pounds, right? And it's just a bloke in a burger bar. bar. He's got the nice hot plate, it looks really clean. To be fair, it's clean, he's got the five-star register, you know, the hygiene certificate, that's on a five. Um, he's well presented, short fingernails, clean hands, uh, the surfaces are clean. Don't get me wrong, it's a working environment, so it's not like he's just drove it from the, uh, the, the, the sales showroom, he's got a burger van. And it looks good. Nicer uh, condiments. I've not put any condiments on this. I've not put any sauce on it. So I want to actually just taste what he has cooked. I don't want to disguise the flavour of what he's done. He just seems to be a hard-working bloke. Bit of a ginger like me. It looks great. So this is what I've bought. A double cheeseburger. Um, I've got onions on it. I like onions. So it's freshly cooked. Oh, Now, for you visually impaired folks, I've just turned, uh, peeled a bit of the burger off. Because this is where McDonald's downfall, in my opinion, is. There's no taste in the meat. It's, there's, there's, I don't know if they could use something else. I don't know, mix it up with some kind of burger mix. I don't know, but burgers from McDonald's are lacking in taste. But this, it's, it's moist. It's got a nice flavoring on the um it's got a nice crispy outer in and it just tastes of burger now when i used to follow leicester all over the country back in the day i'd always have i'll tell you what though one day one game we played away at forest and uh, i went to get a burger and they got no burgers left right and i was starving i was really hungry i says well what you got then he says well i can do you an onion cob so i says all right and i I am only like 15. I weren't quite as liberal with my mouth as I am now. And um, I says, all right, and I'll have, a bur uh, I'll have an onion cob. No, I weren't. I was older than that. I was older than that. 
And I says, I'll have an onion cup. And he still charged me the same price of a bloody burger. And I come, and then I can't, I was thinking about it when I got home. I think I should have had a go at him for that. The ripping off git. Anyway, that's local rivalry. Local football rivalry for the Leicester and the Forest lads. So, I've had a lot of burgers in my time. And this is really tasty. And that's just the burger itself. I've not actually bit into the the bun or the cheese or that. Mmm. That is good. That is really nice. That is a good, tasty burger. He put the burger on, and it was in like the, uh, the it's got like the pieces of sheet and paper, the greaseproof paper between it. Um, I watched him put it on. Uh, it didn't shrink. It stayed the same size it was as he put it on, because a lot of these things just seem to shrink up and then they, they curve up at the ends, don't they? Like some kind of dead, dead frog or something. I don't know. Oh. If I'd have gone McDonald's and got a grand Big Mac with bacon, I think it's about £4.8p. But there is no way it would have tasted as good as this. Yeah, I mean... Mm. Oh... Three layers of cheese that's melted. So I've been talking and the heat, I mean, you can see all the heat coming still. I mean, it's six minutes old, seven minutes old, this video. By uh, well, the time I got in my van, parked up, found the right bloody hell, Mark, one escort there. Red one, my old man used to have one of that when he had a Mexico. No, he didn't, he had a Sport, 1600 e-Sport. I want there drive something like that. Go okay, some burke in a course that came and rammed you up the arse. Um, yeah, it's hot. It's it's just full of flavour. Just full of proper natural flavours. It's bigger than a Grand Big Mac. It's tastier. And it's just more wholesome. You just... If you're a bricker, a builder, workman, van driver, and you want something to keep you going through the day, I say, lads, this is going to be a bit of a campaign for me now. Let's try and start using local businesses. Oh. That really tastes... How a burger should. If anybody knows me in the Loughborough area, who knows the lad in the uh, B and Q car park? Oh, that is absolutely stunning. I can't fault that, uh, folks. So this is it now. This is my word. I still will be reviewing McDonald's stuff. When McDonald's have something new coming out, I'm going to review it. That's what I do, right? Apart from making plastic, I review this food now for my channel. So I've got to go in there to buy it to review it. So people, stop saying stop reviewing McDonald's if you don't like it. I'm still going to do it. But I am going to go around and review local businesses that do fast food like this and then people hopefully you will start doing the same and encouraging people to do that and support local businesses because if we don't support local businesses these guys won't be here and then the monopoly will be just controlled by mcdonald's and stuff like that right i'm going to finish this then I've got things to do. Really good. Be it, not B and Q white van. What what could he be? B and Q white burger van man. 
That's it. B&Q White Burger Van, man. Absolutely brilliant. All right, lads. Laters.